Hi guys, this is Kata and this will be my February wrap up and I know it's a lot late but I didn't really have the time to film anything and I didn't really have the time to read in February which sucks because I only read I think six books and one novella so yeah, not too good and March isn't going too well either but I still hope that I can read some good books but anyways, let's talk about the books that I read in February the first book I read in February was Oracle by Gina Rossetti and this was such a good book, I gave it 5 stars because it was unique and it was, I think it's very underrated or at least not talked about enough but it's a really good paranormal young adult book in which um, our main character Anna can basically astrally project out of her body when she uh, falls asleep and so she can go to any place uh, that she wants but uh, one day something bad happens and she cannot go back into her body and she has to she has to be basically a ghost or something like that and the main two characters are amazing and I just love uh, their friendship between Anna and Ray, Rai who is, uh, I just love how this guy has um, Asian heritage and I never really read about guys who, ha who are Asian or half Asian or something and I think it's pretty cool when an, when an author um, thinks outside of the box and just not use, you know, your typical male uh, character in a book and yeah, I recommend this to all of you if you love uh, paranormal young adult books kinda mixed with uh, contemporary and then the next few books are going to be uh, part of a trilogy and I reread some of these books and the first book in that series is Shatter Me and uh, I enjoyed this book a lot the second time I read it but it's still a four stars read for me just because I love the sequels a lot more and after Shatter Me I read the novella Destroy Me um, which is, you know, in Warner's point of, point of view and Again, I just adore that novella, my favorite novella of all time, I think. And uh, I gave that, again, <laughs> five stars. And after rereading Destroy Me, I went ahead and reread Unravel Me, which is such an amazing book. And uh, I just love it so, so, so much. And, you know, if you have watched my videos, then you know that this book made into my top 13 of 2013. And it didn't disappoint me for the second time either. And definitely the second part of this book is my favorite. And after I finished Unravel Me, I could finally read Ignite Me. Perfection. This really is perfection and definitely the best ending to a trilogy. And oh my god, this is definitely a 5 star read, if not 6 stars or as many as I can give it. And the cover is so gorgeous. If you haven't started the Shatter Me trilogy, please do it because it's so so fantastic and if if the first book doesn't convince you that it's such an amazing series please uh continue with it because the first book is definitely my least favorite but after that it just gets better and better and better so one of my favorite trilogies ever the next book i read was shade by jerry smith Reddy, which is again a paranormal young adult uh first book in a trilogy and i enjoyed this book i gave it three and a half stars I think because I thought that it would be a bit better than it was because a lot of people seem to love it but I just couldn't really connect with the characters in it and yeah I mean it was good but it wasn't amazing and since I have the other two books in the trilogy I know I will continue with this but I just don't really feel like picking up the second book but yeah it, it was still good and I'm excited to see what will happen after this book but yeah I gave it three and a half stars and the last book I read in February I kind of cheated because I finished it on the 1st of March but I did most of my reading in February and I'm talking about Poison Princess by Cressley Cole and I read it with Muni from Muni's Book World we, we decided to read this book together and uh, again, this was a really good book, but it wasn't amazing. And I thought that it would be really amazing. I mean, I really had high hopes, and I think that's the problem, because I had way too uh, high expectations of it. But yeah, it was still really good. It's kind of a dystopian post-apocalyptic world or book, and um, my main problem with this is 
the first half of the book or the beginning because everybody just annoyed me in this at the very beginning but I knew that some people told me that the second part of this book is a lot better so I knew that I was gonna like it a lot more after that but <laughs> I just didn't really like the characters in the beginning but they grew on me and the re relationships grew on me and I already read the second book which I'm not going to talk about in this video but yeah I gave Poison Princess uh, four stars so those were all the six slash seven books I read in February and let me know if you have read any of these and enjoy them and please let me know if you have any suggestions about what book I should read in March because I you know I, I don't really have a TBR I never did uh, just because I always pick up books that I feel like reading at that very moment but if you have read anything really good um, uh, lately then please let me know because I would love to check it out and yeah I will see you guys soon bye bye